So here's an update to Project Ascender. I took apart the shocks, removed them completely from the axle and the chassis, took them apart. So right now I'm deburring and cleaning up the shock piston, the ring that's at the inside of the shock bodies. I didn't really notice any any burrs on it. It seemed pretty clean when I installed it, but just to make sure I scraped it with the sharp end of a blade around all the way around and cleaned up all the shocks. Now I'm removing the e-clip and so what I did on these took out the pistons and I used the pointed end of the blade to kind of enlarge the holes a little bit. Part of the problem with stock was the e-clip was blocking the metal e-clip was blocking the holes so with the thicker oil it was having a hard time flowing through the holes in the shock piston. So hopefully this helps out a little bit um, in kind of making a funnel of the holes and I did it on both top and bottom or both holes on each piston um, and then um, to hopefully it'll help flow better. So there I didn't have a small enough drill bit to make that hole bigger. The smallest I had would have been too big for the piston. And then after I kind of clean that up and try to make the hole a little bit bigger. I used the toothpick right there to kind of make sure the holes are clean through. I'm just poking it through the hole and make sure I didn't have any small particles that could end up blocking later on. So if you see in the background there, I've got that associated 15 weight oil. That's what I'm going to end up using when I reassemble the shock. So it should be a lot lighter weight than factory. The part of that problem was on that heavier, the heavier hard body on the Defender, it would throw off the balance. And since the shock would take longer to return and rebound back, it would throw off the balance. and. Uh, make it tip off. On the lighter blazer body, it worked fairly well, but I think with this uh, I'll get a more realistic uh, shock action for this scale truck. So you can see the comparison. The one on the left is the modded shock and the one on the right is the factory uh, after I when I assembled the factory from the kit and you can see it rebounds a lot slower on the stock that's the stock shock there and it's way slower rebound and here the modded shock returns pretty well and smooth <laughs>